Welcome everybody. Come on in. Happy Wednesday. And can we believe it's already September and that we're uh, about three quarters of the way done with the month today. All right, so I'm just going to get a couple minutes and um, give everybody some time to join us. Uh, but today's topic for our tips and tricks webinar for September is going to be exploring your details toolbox. So, um, you know, when you get started with details, you know, obviously that the software is going to be part of that subscription and you're going to be able to utilize the tools within the software and, you know, that that's really what uh, the bulk of what you're paying for, right? Um, but of course, that's not the only thing that you get included with your subscription. So we're gonna go over some of those different tools and um, training resources and things that you can utilize um, as part of your subscription. So we're gonna give it just a couple of minutes here to see if anybody else uh, wants to join us live. But as noted in all of our previous webinars, this is going to be recorded, so if you want to come back and watch this again later, or uh, you want to share it with any members of your team or anything like that, it is going to be available to you, and we do normally send out an email um, either the next day or a couple of days after we have our Tips and Tricks webinar, so just be on the lookout for that email, and it's also going to live on our webinars page, which we will go over today in our class. Um, but for anybody that does not know, my name is Brandy, and I am the support director here at Details. Um, I want to welcome you all, and whether you've been with us for a while or whether you are just getting started with Details, um, these resources are going to be valuable to you throughout the entire time that you are here with us. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here today, and I'll go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to get started actually on our website. So if you're like me, um, traditionally when I start using a platform, I like to bookmark everything. Um, or, you know, if it's something that has an extension or something like that. And I, I almost never end up going back onto the site. Um, but with details, we do have a lot of great information that you can access right within the site. And that's gonna be for when you're just getting started or when you've been with us for five, 10 years. That's um, gonna be valuable to you throughout your entire time with details. So um, to get started, I'm actually gonna go over and focus on our blog, which is gonna be found in the upper kind of um, right-hand corner there of our site. And we've made some recent updates to this area so that it's going to be easier for you to find the things that you're looking for. Um, our blog is, of course, going to be a place where you can find information about things like recent events that we were at or um, different master classes or webinars or things like that that's coming up. Or um, it could be about a new partner that we've introduced to the site, such as uh, JetFresh or um, Gar Pete Garcia Company that we just added on recently. But you'll also find things that are going to be useful as florist in general. So uh, one of those examples is during COVID, we posted a blog that had a bunch of different resources, and it was sectioned out by different states. So it had things like blanket, the PPP loan that was available for everybody. But it also had different smaller things on a more state level that you could um, access as well. We also post a uh, different resource for things like natural disasters. So for example, um, I want to say it was last year, we had a relatively big hurricane that wiped out a good portion of the west coast of Florida. And so we had resources there for florists um, that were affected by that tragedy as well. So those kind of things are what you're going to find on our blog. But you'll also find some other stuff like um, our CEO, Kareen, um, is kind of branching off into more of a judging era, if you will. So she has been a judge for um, the Florida Bills recently this year. 
among other things. And so there's a blog in here about things that you need to know if you are wanting to become a judge in floral competitions. There's also an article in here about what it takes to be a part or one of the participants in a floral competition, things like the Sylvia Cup that just happened at SAF or the Inner Floral World Cup, um, which we'll learn about a little bit more in our masterclass for this month with Jenny Thomason, who was the American representative at that show. Um, but you can scroll through here and see all of our most recent blogs that were posted here. You'll also be able to utilize these different subcategories. So if you're looking for things uh, that pertain to designers, or if you're looking for more on our new partners or Details University, which is going to be more like our tips and tricks that we do weekly. Um, tips and tricks, which are going to be tips and tricks for florists in general. Um, just for fun, which will be kind of a catch-all for everything else. And then also information about the different events that we go through to, to throughout the year. Um, so you'll see things like our, our wedding MBA when we went to Vegas last year. Uh, here's that expert tips for judging floral competitions one that I was just talking about. And if there's a specific topic that you're wanting to look into a little bit more, you can also use our new search bar that's up here to um, search for those topics as well. Uh, at the very bottom of each one of our different sections, you'll also have a, uh, a next and a back button so you can scroll through each one of the pages if you'd prefer to look through it that way as well. If for any reason you or any of the members of your team are not getting our updates, things like our newsletters and stuff that will contain information from our blogs and other resources that we're going to go over today, there is a form that you can fill out here at the bottom of the page. And um, so this can, you can fill this out for a member of your team. You can send them here to do it themselves, um, but you can definitely sign up for that community here. And down at the bottom of this page, you'll also see our most recent Instagram posts. Um, so we do post a lot of information here, such as our recap from the Interflora World Cup or testimonials from current customers, or uh, we did also just recently do a meet the team. So you can learn more about our team in general. So great resource here to just learn more about industry happenings, um, resources available to you, and things like that. Um, at the top of our page here, if we go under member benefits, we're going to see uh, a couple of different options here. I'm actually going to start at the bottom at our FAQs. This FAQ is going to be for those who are already members, and so it's going to have relevant information about frequently asked questions that someone who is already a member of Details might ask. So um, information such as tell us about your invoicing feature. If you're not connected with our invoicing feature, I highly recommend that you check in, uh, check out all the information that we have available uh, in regards to that. We are connected by Stripe and you'll be able to process payments directly in the software, but you'll be able to see more information about that here. Um, our hours of operation. Something simple, but those are here for you to um, check those out. And so if you ever have any questions about when we're in the office, you can see that information here. And also things like, can I upload my Pinterest or inspiration photos into the site? So this is a great resource and we're always building onto it. So as we get more commonly asked questions, we normally tend to add them here. Um, next, under the member benefits is going to be our masterclass. So each month, just like we do here with the tips and tricks, we have a monthly masterclass. And each month we have a different guest. And this month's guest, like I said, is going to be Jenny Thomason. So we're going to talk about her experience at the Inner Floral World Cup, um, what it was like to compete was, you know, what led up to her becoming the American representative for that. Um, what does she focus on when she goes to start making content after the show is ended? Just a lot of information about um, her time and her experience at the Interflora World Cup. So if you're interested in that, you can register for that here. And every month we're gonna update this. So you'll see our next guest here next month that you'll be able to register for here as well. Of course, uh, we do recognize that florists and just the floral industry in general is just a very busy group of people. So you may not always have the time to sit for an hour and listen to the masterclass or sit for an hour and listen to the tips and tricks. And so for that, we do offer the replays here on these pages as well. 
So you can go through and see each one of our different guests and when we had them on and watch their replays. So uh, if there's any on here that you have any interest in, you can absolutely come back here and rewatch that as many times as you want. And this is also great if you have a lot of people in your organization. So maybe you have the time to sit there, you know, from the two to three time period on uh, a Tuesday to watch that live, but maybe your um, employees don't, but it's still a great topic that you want everybody to, to know about and learn from. And so you can share that link and they can watch that when they have the time to do so. Um, so just scrolling through here, and that's just a couple of our different master classes that we have done previously. And uh, like I said, we add to that every month. So you'll be able to come back here and see um, this month will be recorded and you'll be able to come watch that uh, next month if you choose. Next is going to be the tips and tricks webinar. So uh, that's what we're doing today, of course. And um, just like on the master classes, you're going to see whatever the next tips and tricks topic is and our option to register for it right here at the top of the page. Um, so in October, you'll come back on this site and you'll be able to see that information here. And you'll also be able to go back and see all of our previous topics. This is especially good for those who are just starting out um, because these are going to be a great way to get familiar with the popular areas. So when I go to choose a tips and tricks webinar topic, I think about, okay, how many times have I been asked a specific question this month? Is there an area of focus where I've been getting a lot of questions or did we implement a new feature that we've sent out an email, but maybe not everybody knows about yet? Um, those are the types of things that we're going to do topics on. And so you'll be able to come back through here and rewatch all of those different topics. And then at the bottom here is where we're going to find all of our 2021 webinars. And so when we move into 2024, we'll move 2022s down here in a block as well. Right, next on the member benefits is going to be training classes. So Traditionally, when you think of training classes, you automatically think of, okay, I'm new, I need to be trained on the software, that's what those classes are for. And to an extent, that is the case. Uh, we do offer a two-part class, which is going to be our Details University series. Um, so you get part one, which will be setting up your account, adjusting your items, um, you know, making sure that all of your company information is correct, adding in your, your inventory, if there's items that you want to add in that are not already in the system, um, and just getting familiar with, with setting up your account and making sure that you have everything that you need to get started. Um, the second class here is going to be our Details University 2, and that is going to be creating an event from start to finish. You will create the e excuse me, create the contact, um, build out the event and full worksheet with all the recipes and everything, learn about processing payments and our invoicing. Or if you're not using our invoicing, you can also manually log payments um, and creating the proposal that you're going to send off to your client and much more. So um, those two classes I do recommend for anybody who's just getting started. However, it also, they're great for people that um, maybe just need a refresher on things or they never got the opportunity to take the classes when they first started. And um, so these are great classes to, to learn more there. The best class though, I think is actually gonna be this new employee orientation. So as you grow and you scale, which we know that you will because you're using details, you're gonna be adding more and more employees to your team. And as you do that, like I said before, the floral industry in general is just a very go, go, go um, type of environment. And so it becomes very difficult when you get new employees to train them on the different um, processes that you have, different systems that you use and things like that. So as you add new members of uh, your team, you can go ahead and sign them up for a new employee orientation class. And what that is, is it's A, going to focus on, okay, what is your primary uh, purpose in the company? Are you going to be building proposals? Are you more so going to be doing order sheets to get product in? Are you going to be doing more of a reporting aspect? You know, and we kind of tailor that class to them, depending on what their role is in your company. 
And um, it's also going to be a nice blend in with that of our details university too. So um, we're going to focus on things that are going to pertain more to what their main role is, but we're also going to go through how to create that event from start to finish in details. Um, so if you have any new employees that you want to get started on the system and get them up to speed without, you know, obviously spending any of your time to do that, we do offer this new employee orientation class. Um, and they can also ask questions during that time. So if they have any questions or if you also just want to sneak in some questions that you guys have in your uh, business as well and say, hey, while you're on, will you ask them this? You could do that as well. Um, so those are great options there. Um, below that, you're going to see an option for integrating Zapier. If you don't know, Zapier is a third-party platform that will allow you to connect multiple systems or multiple apps together through a series of workflows. Um, for example, maybe you are using both Details and HoneyBook, and you want the two to talk to each other or share information between each other. Um, you can set up a Zapier meeting and say, this is exactly what I want to happen, and I will help walk you through the steps to create that in Zapier. You will need a Zapier account, and for certain apps like uh, QuickBooks, but a, there are uh, a series of others, those are what they call premium apps, so you will need a paid plan on Zapier for that. But if we're doing simple, simple things like connecting HoneyBook or moving data to a Google Sheet, those types of things you can do with a free account through Zapier. Um, so if you ever want to set up one of those meetings, you'll come here and you can schedule that time. Um, and then, of course, this one is going to be more so for people who are just learning about the system and everything. But if we have anybody here that is currently on a trial, you can also schedule a discovery call with our sales team to um, get any questions that you have answered and, and just learn more about details. And we'll learn more about your business as well. Um, down below that, you'll also see an option here to contact us. This is going to go to our support team. So if you are on either a professional or an enterprise account, the Details University classes, you get one free Details University 1 and one free Details University 2 class included in your subscription. Um, so if you fall in that category and you want to take those classes, You'll just click here to um, email us and let us know that you would like to have um, the links to schedule your, your classes that are included with your plan. All right, perfect. So the last thing that I do want to talk about while we are on the website is actually going to be our, um, our Facebook group. So if you are not currently a part of our Facebook group, I highly recommend that you join our community down here at the bottom of each one of the pages, you're going to see under community an option that says join the conversation. And this is going to be our like details group, our forum, if you will. Um, in that group, we do post information about things like upcoming masterclasses, tips and tricks, um, events that we're going to be going to, things like that. But you'll also find that there's a lot of other details members on there. So if you have any questions that maybe you know, you'd prefer to ask um, another person who's using details or another florist in your area or something like that, um, you can absolutely go onto our Facebook group and post those questions for other people to answer. Um, questions that I've seen are things like, uh, do you classify delivery as a service or a labor? And if you do either or, how are you putting that into details? Like what, what options are you picking? Um, the great thing about details is that it's really built to where you can use it in a variety of ways. And so how you put in a fee may not be the same way as uh, another company puts in a fee, or maybe you classify delivery as a service and they classify delivery as a labor. So that's kind of the beauty of the website and the fact that you can customize that to fit more in line with your company's needs. And so getting input from other people who are also using the system on a daily basis is a great way to learn more and just really iron out your processes within the site. So again, that's going to be found down at the bottom here, and it'll be that join the conversation option. All right. Perfect. So that's going to be it for our website here. I do want to mention that there is a lot more information here on the site. So if you go to our homepage, you're going to learn about details in general. 
Um, on our About Us area, you can find out more about our team. So this is going to be a great way if you're ever interested in, hey, you know, I speak to Brandy on a daily basis with my questions or, hey, I spoke with Kayla during my onboarding process, during the sales process in my trial. Um, any of that you want to go and learn about us, all of our information is going to be here. You'll also find information about our CEO and really how details got started. So you can find um, more about our team here as well. So if you're ever interested. Um, also in that about us, you'll find testimonials from other people that are using the software, our press page and uh, media page. And then in the getting started area, this is more so for people that are on trial or people that are interested in learning more about details. However, I do find that that FAQ for beginners is is good for everybody all the way through um, the time that you are uh, with details and you know forever always. Um, and then you'll also find our surveys here. So if you ever want to take any of our getting to know you surveys, we've got an industry survey. Um, you can fill that information out here as well, and we would appreciate it. Um, in our partners area, you learn more about our different partners. So in your item gallery and in your recipe gallery, you're going to see our partner collections like Rosa Prima and um, Pete Garcia Company, Flora Mart, and Jet Brush. And so if you're ever curious about any of those partners, you can come here and learn more. Um, if there's anybody that you know that you want to become a partner, maybe we don't have their products on, on the site already, and you would really love to see their information on there. We do have a become a partner option. So if you want to send that to them, um, they can learn more about that process. And then also our educators um, that teach people about details and also teach our details users about different things that are happening in the industry. All right, so that's going to wrap up our website here. Next, we're going to go right into your details account. So this is going to be where you're going to come primarily every day to work in your details account. Um, the resources here on the site are going to be found under the main menu. And we're going to go over to support. And the first place we're going to go is actually that contact us form. So I kind of find this to be a resource, but also uh, more of uh, a how-to or to get your questions answered, if you will. So uh, to get started on the left-hand side, you're going to find our phone number. If you do not know, we are a resource. We are here Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you call, we actually answer. We are here to answer your questions. And uh, you can call that phone number and get directly connected with us as long as it's during our office hours. Um, we love to hear from you. So again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us there. Right below that, again, you're going to find our office hours. So if you're ever wondering what our hours are, you can find that information here. And then my favorite section is going to be that schedule a support call. Um, here is where you can schedule a 15 minute meeting with support. If you're like me, I kind of tend to have a, a running list of questions that I might have. And then at the point that I have enough questions where I'm like, okay, it's time to reach out now. Then, you know, I want to reach out to whoever that entity may be and just ask all my questions at once. This is a great option to do that you can schedule that 15 minute meeting and we'll just go through all of your different questions and answer them um, right there on a call. But it's also a great way if you ever experience an issue or if you have any, just a singular question in the site, you can schedule those and we can do a screen share meeting. So that way if you're like, okay, well, how do I do this? And for me and for really most people in this creative industry, you're gonna be a visual person. So I can write out my different steps on how you can do something, but really it's going to be best if I can show you. And so if you have one of those types of questions, we can schedule that call and do a screen share and I can go through the entire process and you can have that visual um, to see how to do something. Also on this page, which is going to be more of the support side of things, that's going to be your um, area where you can fill out either a an issue. So if you ever experience any issues in the system, um, you can always report that issue to us so we can go ahead and uh, resolve that. And you can ask us a question here. So if you would prefer to just send in your question and get an email back rather than doing a meeting, you can ask us a question here. And this is an area where you can request a feature. So one of the resources that I always like to let people know is that we are 
updated and we implement things based on what you guys tell us you want to see next. Um, so if I've got 20 people that are all asking for a specific feature, it's going to be more so like, okay, well, I've got 20 people that are asking for this. So we should probably focus on that next. Um, so this is a great way for you to go ahead and put that feature in. And it's a resource in the, in the sense that you're going to be able to um, get the options and the different features that you want more quickly by letting us know what it is that you'd like to see next. Um, next under the support is going to be our support center. So we have spent uh, an immense amount of time creating articles and different bits of information in regards to learning the site. If you ever have a question, especially if it's one of those times where it's like midnight, you've been working, you've lost track of time, and you're like, oh, well, I have this question and I really need it to be answered right this moment, but obviously it's not in our, in our office hours, so there's no one here to answer your question. This is a great place to go. Um, in this area, you're going to find our different sections. So you'll have things like getting started. So if you're on a trial or if you've newly started with details, that's a great way to start. You've also got education and learning. That's going to be actually our biggest section. Um, and it's just more so how to, how do I update my payment schedule? How do I set up my invoicing emails to automatically send to my client? Things like that you'll find here in education and learning. Um, account information. So if you ever have any questions about your billing uh, or subscription plans that we offer, maybe you want to upgrade to an annual plan, which by the way, if anybody's not on an annual plan, highly recommend that you do that. You're going to save $300 over the course of the year, every year, and you get those included details university classes, a discounted rate on processing for our invoicing. Um, so really great options if anybody's interested. Uh, Zapier is going to have articles about common zaps that we see. So um, moving data into a Google spreadsheet, connecting your QuickBooks account, things like that. Troubleshooting is going to be commonly asked questions. Think of this more like a very um, robust FAQ area. Our video tutorials. And then we've also added a new section here for emails. If anybody is not using our invoicing currently, we've just added two new features, new pages um, in pertain to, in, excuse me, pertaining to the invoicing. Um, so that's going to be an area where you are going to be able to schedule out those email sends to your client based on when their payments are due. And you will also be able to track the analytics from those emails. When did they open it? How many times did they open it? Um, when was it sent? When was it actually delivered? Is there, did it experience an error and never made it to them? Um, things like that. So you'll be able to see articles pertaining to those new features here. But mostly I would recommend that you use the search bar. If you're coming in here for a question about the proposal, I would recommend you come up here and you just search proposal. That's going to pull up literally every article that we have in here that has anything to do with the proposal. If you have a question of my proposal is not uh, formatted the way that I want to, and I want to update my um, font, and I also want to update the Im images that come in there default every time that I create a new one, I would not recommend that you come in here and put in a full paragraph of proposal and how to change font and how to change images and because it's never going to pull it up uh, the proper articles. So in this case, I just want to mention that less is more. And so I would just put in blanket proposal, or maybe I'm doing payments. So I want to do something on, you know, adjusting my payment schedule. I put payments. Um, so just to keep those things in mind here. All right. So uh, next is going to be our tutorial section. So we did talk a little bit about the tutorial section in the support center because there is a dedicated section for that. But you'll also be able to view those tutorials here on our video tutorial page. So up at the top, you'll see that we have them sectioned out. So we have ones on how to's of creating an event. This is going to be things like, how do I make a recipe? Um, how do I build out my uh, worksheet in general, if I, how do I add fees onto my uh, worksheet? Um, most things to do with the worksheet itself, right? How do I add things on my design board? All of that. 
You'll also then have your ordering and invoicing. So this is going to be your cost page, your invoicing page, um, the emails that we just talked about and things like that. We're going to create a video and that's going to live there in that ordering and invoicing area. So um, how to use the items needed report, things like that. Then you have your resource gallery. So that's going to be your item gallery, your recipe gallery, and your inspiration gallery how-tos, useful features. And then all the way down at the very bottom of this page, you're going to see an option to request a video. So let me just scroll all the way down to that bottom section here. We'll wait for it to load a little bit. So you have this area to request a video. If at any point you're coming you've gone to the support center, you've gone to the tutorials uh, page, and you've tried to look at for the answer yourself, and you can't really find a how-to on it, we would love for you to come in here and request that as a video. Um, so you'll just put in your email, your first and last name, your company name, and then put in your video tutorial request. Um, I highly recommend that you put as much information as humanly possible in this area so that way we know exactly what, what you are wanting to get out of the video and we'll be able to send that over to you once we have it made. And then also down at the bottom here, you're gonna see these different videos that are gonna be our year in reviews. Uh, we started this in 2020, uh, excuse me, 2020. So you're gonna have um, the past three years that you can go back and just see what did we implement in 2020? What did we implement in 21? And what do we implement in 22? Um, and of course, we're gonna build onto that. So next year we'll add our 2023 and so on and so forth. All right, but those are our resources that are available to you and that are included in your subscription. Uh, if you ever have any questions at all about any of these options, you can always use that chat feature in the bottom left-hand corner and be able to chat in with us at any time. Otherwise, I appreciate everybody for taking the time to learn a little bit more about the items that are in your details toolbox and the resources that are available to you included with your subscription. Thanks so much, and I hope to see everybody in our next month's tips and tricks.